Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming with the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 collection. So if you guys want to see swatches, hear my first impression thoughts, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Sometimes I get the occasional collection in PR and I'm totally surprised, which is basically what happened in today's video. So if you guys like to see a new makeup about three to four times a week, sometimes anti-hauls, sometimes we just do fun, chatty, get ready with me's or shop my stashes, then this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, this is a bit of a story. I'm like so shocked, but last night, it was Monday night, and I was chilling at home with my baby, and I told my husband, I was like, can you go check the mail? It was like super late at night. I knew I had a PR package from a different brand, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll just check the mail when it comes, and sometimes, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but it's incredibly hard to find a time to actually go out of your house to grab the mail. And I live in one of those houses, guys, where the mailbox is like at the end of our block. So they have like a row or like a bank of boxes. Do you guys live in neighborhoods like that? I'm assuming it's because I live in like a newer neighborhood in our town. So I kind of hate it because our old house, we had our own mailbox. And now it's just like a bank of boxes and then each house has a box and it's like, kind of annoying, especially in the winter time. I know I've complained to my girlfriends about having to walk to the mailbox. <laughs> These are my first world problems. Anyway, I typically don't get big collections from ColourPop. So I was like completely shocked because I saw my husband walking in to our house with a green box and I didn't even realize that it was ColourPop until he got a little closer. And I was like, no. Way I was like, what? So I was super, super surprised, but I do have the entire Hocus Pocus collection with me. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys would still be interested in seeing it, and you guys said yes, so I sat down and I'm about to film with the collection. So let me show you guys the cute mailer box. How fun is this? So this green is like one of my favorite shades of green, and then we have, they're called the Sanderson Sisters, right? This is so cute, like, I think this is my favorite Hocus Pocus packaging that they've done so far and I'm honestly really excited to see the new movie because I'm hoping I like it more than the first one. Anyway, I do own the first two palettes so we'll look at those later but this card has like all the information so it says Disney Hocus Pocus 2 this fall only on Disney Plus and on the back here it says we're celebrating the return of the Sanderson sisters. In the new sequel, Hocus Pocus 2, with our limited edition Disney Hocus Pocus 2 and ColourPop collection. So let me go ahead and show you guys, because I filmed some close-ups and swatches, so I'll show you guys that stuff while I'm talking about the products. So we have the All Hallows Eve Pressed Powder Palette. Get the witch's look with 15 marvelous shades like bright orange, rich forest greens, and cool tone purple in matte metallic, matte sparkle, and our new pearlescent glitter. Burchison BFF Mascara. We've waited centuries to bring you Billy's very own rich plum mascara that instantly lifts, volumizes, and lengthens lashes without clumping or flaking. We also have the So Glassy Lip Gloss, Swipe On Bewitching Shades of Sparkling Black, Peachy Nude, and Crystal Clear with prismatic pearls for an ultra-dimensional pout that's glossy AF. I think these glosses look so pretty. They basically have a clear base with a ton of sparkle. And then we have the Jelly Watch Shadows. Channel your inner Winnie, Sarah, or Mary with haunting metallic hues with duochrome finishes from Wicked Looks that won't crease, fade, or transfer. I haven't bought a Jelly Watch in a while, but I used to have quite a few of them. 
I will say the orange and the purple swatched very beautifully. The iridescent one is a little bit more chunky, but definitely will have a beautiful effect if you top it on something. And then we have the Soul Shimmering Body Powder. It's a full moon tonight with this face body highlighter in ivory opal with a gold and gray and duochrome finish for an effortless moonlit glow. It definitely does have that duochrome finish. This is definitely not my type of shade to wear as a highlighter but I know that I can make this shade work so I'm very excited to test it out. I will say I'm not a fan of the Soul Body Highlighter packaging. Really wish ColourPop would change that but here we are. And then we have Give Him for Cat Ears, Twist the Bones and Bend the Back with these frightful cat ears that are black as black. So the cat ears are fun. So let's go ahead and talk about the palette just a little bit more. Now the palette is very, very, very beautiful. I love the way it's on this like iridescent green background and we have all the names clearly written. I love that this is kind of a dummy proof layout because if you just go down each of the lines, there is definitely an eye look that you can easily create. So that's really nice. If you looked at the swatches, these first few shades are very light, but I love that they have this row of darker mattes. You guys know I love dark, colorful mattes, and these swatch really nicely, so I'm very excited to put them on my face. Till Midnight swatch so nicely. I'm really excited to see how it performs on the lid. So I kind of have an idea of a look I wanna do. Let's see if I can pull it off. But yeah, this is the palette. And then let me show you guys the other palettes. So I think they did this one first and then they did this one, I think, was it last year? I don't even know. Listen, I'm not a Hocus Pocus person, but I own all the palettes. So I think this one came back when they launched this one. So I did pick this up, but this one's definitely a more grungy vibe. If you compare the two, they're so different. And look at how much bigger this palette is too. I didn't even realize. So let's see here. Um, this one has a net weight of 17 grams. And this one has a net weight of 16.5. Isn't that wild to see how even though they're two different sizes, this one actually has a tiny bit more product. And then this is the Witching Hour palette. And this one is 11 grams of product. So this one has, again, some really cool shades, some darker shadows as well as some lighter shadows. But overall, I will say that I think they're all cute. I definitely don't really need to use the top row in this palette, but all really cute. A great way to kind of pay homage to this franchise, which is so big around Halloween. And I know it's like a lot of people's nostalgia kicks in when it comes to the Hocus Pocus launch from ColourPop every year. Another thing I want to mention is it looks like this collection is going to be available at Ulta. So definitely make sure you keep an eye out on my community tab. I'll post when I see this collection launch at Ulta for you guys in case you're interested. Okay, I feel like I've talked and talked and talked, so let's play with some makeup. Okay, you guys, so I primed my eyelids. I have an idea. Let's see if I can pull this off. So I'm gonna start off with a Lunar Beauty brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Spellbook, which is this neutral color right up here. And we're just gonna pop that onto the crease and just kind of blend messily. All of a sudden, I feel a little sick like my throat feels a little bit scratchy and I'm like what the heck okay so I just kind of blended that all into the crease now I want to use this shade called doomed in the inner corner but like in the crease as well just a little bit lower than the shade spell book I really want to play with the green but I feel like I just did a green eye look for new makeup releases so I want to try some of the other colors in this palette. Even though you guys know I'm like the queen of green, I love playing with green eyeshadows. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break and play with some of the more traditional Halloween colors today. So we'll see how it pans out, but that orange is blending so nice. I feel like ColourPop has to do like a half neutral, half colorful palette when they do these big 
franchises because not everyone is into colorful makeup. So yeah, hopefully people like this color combo, but I would be very curious. Like if you're not a big color lover, what do you think of this palette? Okay, next I'm gonna go into Observe with the same Lunar Beauty brush. Just picking that up and this is the matte dark purpley shade and we're gonna put that on the outer portion of the crease and the outer corner. I love purple and orange together. I think it's such a cute color combo even like for outfits. It's such a good color combo. So I'm just trying to blend that in to my crease. Okay, so that is the orange and the purple matte. Now I wanna use the black matte shadow. So I'm gonna grab a smaller brush just so I can be a little bit more precise with the application. And I'm just tucking that on the very outer corner just to deepen up the eye look. Okay, so far so good. And then for the lid shade, I think I'm gonna use the orange called Marvelous. And then I wanna use a little bit of candle as a light on the inner corner. We'll see how it applies. So I'm gonna use this flat brush from Julia's Place, pick it up on the brush. I can't find my Mario Badescu, so I'm just gonna use the old KVD setting spray that I had. This orange shade is picking up so nicely on the brush. And it's applying super duper opaque, which I personally love. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip the brush over, go into the shade, candle is a light. Give it a spray. I think this is that glitter metallic they're talking about, cause I felt it when I was swatching it, I felt like it was a glitter. It was just a little bit more um, gritty, but it also felt like an eyeshadow, so it's like a pretty iridescent, toppery kind of shade. It looks really pretty. I kind of want to just pull it all over the orange, to be honest, but I think it might take over the look, so I'm just gonna leave it in the inner corner like I intended it to be. And now let's do the lower lash line. Okay, so I wanna test out this all smudge, no budge liner from Made by Mitchell in the shade Passion. I hauled this last month and I was not impressed with how it swatched. So let's try it in the waterline. He has so many fun colors um, that I really wanted to pick up a bunch of them. And luckily I just bought one. So we'll see. It did go on pretty nice, but the formula is definitely a little bit more tuggy than what I personally prefer. Now let's put some Observe in the lower lash line and just help smudge it and set it. Okay, so I just decided to do one shade on the lower lash line. Typically, I feel like I would have done a little bit of the orange, but I thought it would be more dramatic if I just stuck to the purple and I did add a little bit of the black on the ends here. So let's go ahead and put on a little bit of candle is a light um, in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna use this little pencil brush. Oh yeah. This is such a pretty color. It's such a pretty like iridescent shade. Colourpop should do just like a palette of iridescent shadows. Like that would be so fun. I think they could probably charge a little bit more, but why not? Because like the mainstream needs just like a inner corner highlighter palette. The shade is so pretty, I kinda wanna just drag it a little bit into the waterline as well. Can you guys see it? It's kinda subtle from here, but I feel like it has a lot of impact. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some blush quick so we can test out the highlighter. Okay, so I do have a lot of ColourPop blushes, so I'm gonna use the Super Shock in the shade No Way. It's just like a pretty peachy highlighter, so I'm just gonna pick it up on a brush, and I'm gonna blend it on. These Super Shocks that have shimmer in them are so pretty. 
Okay, I feel like I went a little wild with the blush, but that's okay. Now let's use the highlighter in Find the Book. This is the Soul Body Highlighter Formula. I'm just gonna pick it up on a Sigma brush and I'm just gonna blend it. What do you guys think? There it is. Here's the side without. Here's the side with. It's pretty popping, and I like to put a little bit on the brow bone as well. I still need to fill in my eyebrows, but I will do that off camera so I don't need to bore you guys, but definitely a fun green highlighter. Usually I don't put it on the brow bone and stuff, but you know what? Let's just live on the edge a little bit. No big deal. But yeah, I think my biggest tip for wearing colorful highlighter is to just put it on your cheekbones and then use like a more natural looking highlighter on the rest of your face so you don't look green. But obviously you can do whatever you want. So that is the highlighter. Soul Body always makes gorgeous highlights. Now let's go ahead and try out one of the So Glossy lip glosses. Okay, so I just lined my lips with the ColourPop lip liner in BFF4 and I chose a darker lip liner because I wanted to have some nice definition and use it kind of as a base. So I'm gonna try out the ColourPop gloss in the shade Wear Young. It's like this really pretty orange color. Okay, so that's really a pretty shade. It's kind of sticky, feels a little bit heavier than I like. I'm gonna give it a chance, I'm gonna wear it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so now we have to try out the mascara. So let me go ahead and curl my lashes quick so we can try this out. Okay, so this is a really pretty like plum colored mascara. I'm trying to think if I have used this formula before from ColourPop. I know I've tried a lot of their mascaras, but I can't remember. This one has like an hourglass shaped brush and it feels pretty dry, the formula does. I really am trying to be a falsies gal, but I just have the hardest time making that a priority because I just, I feel like for me it does take some time. I know some people can put on false lashes like they're throwing on mascara because they have practiced, but I'm definitely lacking in the practice department, so. This is really cute though. It's like very subtle, but I think it's kind of fun. I'm really scared that I'm gonna stab myself with this brush though, cause it's a little bit spiky looking. Okay, so I'm almost done. I just need to do my brows and throw on some earrings and I will be right back to give you my thoughts on this collection. Okay, do I feel a little ridiculous with these cat ears on? Kind of, but you know what? If I was ever gonna wear cat ears on a video, this is gonna be it. Also, I feel like this one's a little bit... Listen, this was hard to do. Also, we had to bring back the skeleton earrings. I feel like you guys are just as obsessed with these as I am. I will link them down below. They're from Target, but I think they're so, so cute. Perfect for Halloween season. So let me tell you really quick what else is on my face. I am wearing most of my Shop My Stash products. So foundation is NARS Sheer Glow, Oldie But A Goodie, Kofi Concealer. I'm wearing three bronzers today. I have on the Charlotte Tilbury, I have the Hourglass, and then I have on the ColourPop super shock bronzer that they just launched so yeah i was just like oh i have a ColourPop bronzer why am i using these other ones so i threw on all three and everything else i think you pretty much saw me apply on camera so let's go ahead and break it down now what do you need from this collection i feel like the cat ears are definitely something that's going to be a personal choice I don't know that I would have dished out the money for this. I actually don't know how much each of these products are. So let me check. Okay, so the full collection set, which is what I was sent, is $99. That's actually not bad. I don't know why. I would have thought it was more. So that's cool. And I know a few of my influencer friends have codes with ColourPop. I know Molly, Angie, and Leah Janae all have ColourPop codes. So... Definitely use a code if you want to save some money. Okay, let's talk about the standout products last and let's talk about the ones I'm like, eh, you could pass on that. I feel like this is definitely something that if you're a fan of the movies or a collector you'd want. I didn't really love this BFF mascara formula, so 
really really cute packaging but overall not really like a necessity for me let me see how much this mascara costs too i'm curious so the mascara retails for ten dollars which isn't terrible but it's definitely not a must-have in my opinion next let's talk about the jelly mud shadows i think these are so cute again the packaging is adorable i just don't really reach for single shadows in general so i don't think that i would have bought these if i was paying for these with my own money either just because i don't reach for stuff like this very often they are really beautiful though and if you like the vibe of like a super metallic lid shade then these are going to be right up your alley there is probably going to be a learning curve to these though so definitely make sure you only pick them up if that's something that you're willing to kind of be okay with and of course colourpop always recommends that you keep that little plastic thing that goes over the jelly mud shadows just to keep them from drying out these do retail for ten dollars so that is pretty pricey i can't remember how much their super shocks are anymore but there was a time that Super Shock shadows used to be like five bucks, so I would go with a Super Shock over these just because they're a little bit easier to learn, but this is an option if you're interested, just not my favorite thing in the collection by any means. Next, let's talk about the So Glossy lip glosses. So you can get them all individually or you can get them as a set. The set is $24. And the individual So Glossies are $9. Again, the packaging is so, so cute. But if I was going to buy anything from this collection, it wouldn't be these lip glosses. I just really need a lip gloss. Like, I need a hole in my head. So I wouldn't buy these. But they have some really cool shades. I think all these three could be wearable, everyday kind of shades. Even the kind of black looking one has the most beautiful sparkles in it. So I'm definitely going to be trying these out in my spare time. I had talked about wanting this collection or something from this collection in my new makeup releases video. This was a pleasant surprise getting it in PR, but I'm just trying to talk to you guys. If I was going to buy this, I would have passed on these. Honestly, I would probably just go for the eyeshadow palette, but <laughs> let's not cut to the end just yet. Okay, so we've got the Soul Body Highlighter. Again, this one retails for $15. So that's pretty pricey for a packaging that drives me bananas, honestly. You guys know I don't love colorful highlighters. I mean, the Soul Body highlighter formula is very nice. It's that like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to struggle. I can't open this. Ugh, I don't even have fake nails and I'm struggling. Eeh, okay, there we go. It's that like kind of putty kind of highlighter formula. It's very, very soft. So pretty, easy to apply, really, really just kind of melts into the skin. It has that amazing SPF like beachy fragrance, so love that, but I feel like it's just not worth it for me to buy a green highlighter. And I have some highlighter palettes from indie brands as far as colorful highlighters go, so this is definitely not an essential for me. So I think the only thing from this collection that I would spend my coin on is the palette. and. That's mostly because you guys know I'm an eyeshadow person. I feel like if you're even buying the makeup for like collector's purposes, this definitely has like the most beautiful print and it has like the sisters and it just has all the vibes. So I would just go straight for the eyeshadow palette on its own. This does retail for $24. I feel like ColourPop is so all over the place with their pricing. I remember days when their palettes used to be like under 15 and now they're like 24. They're like $30. Like I don't even know. I can't keep up. But this is so cute. I think $24 is a reasonable price for this with that beautiful packaging. And the eyeshadows are really nice. I really like this formula that they have in this palette that I believe is a new formula, so I love that. I love the dark colorful mattes. I think this might be, I don't wanna say this is the best one because that first one is really cool. They're just very different, although this one doesn't have any glitter and the first one does have glitter. Like this, whatever formula they have, it's like a pressed glitter. Anyway, so yeah, it's just interesting. It's interesting to see how they keep like reinterpreting Hocus Pocus. 
So overall, it's a really, really cute collection. I'm honestly very glad that I didn't have to buy this with my own money. It's a nice collection and it's super fun to have, but it's just wild out there right now as far as releases. I can't even keep up. Like, it's just wild. So I know you guys are trying to be as thoughtful with your purchases as I am. I think it is really nice that it's going to be launching at Ulta. So if you guys have some Ulta points or an Ulta gift card, you can pick it up that way. Or hopefully Ulta will give us like 20% off. So definitely snag the pieces that you're most interested in. Let me know, did you guys pick up this collection? Are you waiting for it? What are your thoughts? I love hearing what you guys think about makeup releases. So leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in a new video very, very soon. Bye.